inviting, as Muslims, we believe in God as the only true God. Man is never God. So Jesus was a man, but he, he never said he was God. John 17, 3. You read the, so you read the Bible much, do you? Yeah, a little bit. So if you read John chapter 17, verse 3, Jesus says, For this is eternal life, that they may know you as the only true God, and whom you have sent, the messenger Jesus Christ. John chapter 17, verse 3. There's another story I can tell you. Mark chapter 10, verse 17. You may be aware of it. A rich young man, he runs up to Jesus. He says, good teacher, what must I do to get eternal life? Jesus says to them, why do you call me good? There is no one good except God alone. Yeah, that's, yeah, we are capable, but I'm, I'm giving you the concept of who God is. So God is a supreme being, unlike his creation. So this is why I made references to you. So Jesus is a man, you see. He's just simply one who represents God. So for example, he says of himself in the, in the Bible, he's a prophet. Mark 6, 4, Matthew 21, 11. He never said he was. So Islam believe, affirms that belief, that he's a prophet of God, one who represents God, but not God. Does that make sense? Is that what you believe? Wait, so you don't believe Jesus is God? Yes, a son of God in the Bible means one who represents God. If you read Matthew chapter 5 verse 9 and John chapter 10 verse 33, 34, it explains what is the definition of a son of God. Yeah, you believe in the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. But what, what I'm trying to explain to you, ladies, is that this is not something that... This is, so this is not something in the Bible itself, yeah? It's not, it's not mentioned, so you, so you can understand what I'm saying to you. It's not something within the Bible, which is preached. In fact, it's to the contrary. Jesus says that they may know you as the only true God and whom you have sent, the messenger Jesus. Apostelis is the word in Greek which means sent by God. Yeah, Athena. Athena, okay, cool. So the word for word for apostle or is apasteles. So in John 17, 3, he says, I have been sent by God as a messenger. This is what we believe as well as Muslims. We said there's only one God. The prophet Muhammad is God's final messenger to mankind. Jesus? Yes, of course, I'll just explain that too. So you don't believe that he came to, back to life? Do you believe he came back to life the first? No, what we, what we say was that he wasn't crucified. He escapes the crucifixion. Really? Yes. They tried to kill him. I saw the movie. Now what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say to you is that he wasn't crucified. Oh, it was... So he didn't die for our sins? No. no? Look, human sacrifice is something... Human sacrifice is rejected by the Bible as well. If you read um, Deuteronomy chapter, I think it's chapter 18, verse 10, God, uh, God hates human sacrifice. Oh, really? So, so you... We kill sheep, no, we says, kill chickens. Yeah, that's, hu that, that's animals, for the sick, for, he, but that's not human beings. He says he hates it when we well, do the sacrifice for, for, uh, uh, for hell or something. Like when we do it for unholy things, yeah. Yeah, so we that, offer a sacrifice for certain events that occur, but, but not people, for as a human. We don't sacrifice Jesus, human beings. But Jesus wasn't a human being. But that's he what I'm trying. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to explain to you. Jesus was a Christ, was a great messenger, a prophet. But we believe he was born the virgin with. We believe that he came and did God's work. Look, what, what does he say in the Bible? Why am I focusing on you? Because you read it. He says, I, "Of my own free will, I can do nothing." Yeah, of my own free will, I can do nothing. So I hear, as I ju and my judgment comes from God, for I seek not to do my will, but the will of God who has sent me. So he, he was limited. You understand? He was limited. He was just a conduit, meaning you, he was a, someone who represents God, and God does, and God does many wonders, miracles, and signs through him. Do you believe that? There's a lot of religion, but I know that it's only one God. Yeah. But I, I don't know why it's so many No, like, let me explain. Listen, listen, focus what I'm saying. Try to concentrate. I know you're having a nice little giggle and enjoying yourself. But I just want you to understand, God is one supreme being. Yeah, so Jesus is not that God. He's a man. 
It says in your Bible, Hosea 11, 9, Numbers 23, 19, God is not a man. So do you, do you believe that he, he cured the people who didn't yes. have sight? By God's permission. Yeah. Okay. Um, what of my own, look, in yeah. act, listen, listen to the question your friend has asked you. She asked, did he do these miracles like curing the leper or, you know, restoring sight to the blind? In Acts chapter 2, verse 22, it says, Jesus Christ, a man accredited by God, through whom God did many wonders, works and signs. That God did through him. He didn't do it of himself. If you read Matthew chapter 9, verse 3 and 4, Jesus forgave sins. Very quickly, Jesus forgave sins. The Jews are thinking, Jesus must think he is God. Jesus says, why do you think such evil things? Why are you thinking evil that I'm claiming to be God? That's an evil thought. At the end of that chapter, he, they all, the, the people praise God for giving authority to man. So the authority has been given to Jesus. Are you following what I'm saying to you? So it's not something of his own inclination. Like he said, everything he does, he says, I, for I do not do my will, but the will of God has sent me. For of my own free will, I can do nothing. Yeah, listen, I've got copies of the Quran in English if you would like, I'll give you free of charge. You've got, okay. Anything else you'd like to ask about Islam? That's great. Okay, thank you so much.